Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Sadhwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the transpose of a matrix in C. Let us uh, understand what do you mean by transpose of a matrix. Here for example I am going to write matrix A. Uh, there are four elements for example. I will write 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I am going to write transpose of this matrix. So transpose means the rows will get converted into columns and columns will get converted into rows. For example, in this matrix, first row consisting of elements 1 and 2. So that will be converted into the first column. The second row will get converted into second column in a transpose of a matrix. So let us write the program. Let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace will write console input output dot h header file now we will write wide main function curly open brace and here i am going to declare the two dimensional array that forms the matrix here the first subscript represent the row and the second subscript represent the column next we are going to write the subscript for example i j r represent row and c represent column and then i am going to write clr sr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter the order of matrix using printf function in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the order of matrix backward slash n and put semicolon now let us write the scanf statement and here we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard so percentage d and percentage d and the double quotation mark put comma here we are going to take a row and column so ampersand of r comma ampersand of c and put semicolon so after this we have to ask the user to enter the elements for that i'm going to write printf statement in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the elements colon backward slash n put the double quotation mark and put semicolon and in order to enter the elements we have to use iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than a row i plus plus and take one more for loop j is equal to 0 j is less than column and j plus plus now we'll use the scanf statement here in a double quotation mark i'll write percentage d format specifier and the double quotation mark put comma and ampersand of i'm going to take this two dimensional array so a of i j and put semicolon now i'm going to write the transpose of a matrix is in a printf statement in a double quotation mark and uh, sorry what it is transpose of a matrix we have to write so here i'm going to write transpose of a matrix is in the double quotation mark and put semicolon uh, now we are going to use the iterative statement for i is equal to 0 and here i'm going to take i is less than column and i plus plus curly open brace and then i'm going to use one more for loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than row and j plus plus now we'll use printf statement and in a double quotation mark i'll write percentage d and the double quotation mark put comma here i'm going to write a of j and i and put semicolon now i'm going to write one more printf statement in a double quotation mark backward slash n and put semicolon and curly closing brace for this for loop and now i'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace for main function so let us take an example here i'm going to write output and then so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the order of matrix for example i'm going to write here enter the order of matrix so just because of this backward slash n the cursor come down to the next line for example i'm going to enter 2 and 2 so here two rows and two columns so first two will be stored in the variable r and the second two will be stored in the variable c now it will ask the user to enter the elements here i'm going to write enter the elements 
colon and just because of this backward slash n cursor again come down to the next line and through this iterative statement we are going to receive four elements because two twos are four here you can see for the first time i is equal to zero j is equal to zero so zero is less than two because r value is two and j is zero and which is less than two because c is two hence it is true so scanf percentage d a of i j means what it is zero zero for example how exactly it will be mapped in the memory i'm going to draw it here we have to draw the four square boxes why because two twos are four elements index number zero one zero one so for the first time i value is zero j value is zero hence in this particular memory location the number will be inserted for example i'm going to enter one so one will be stored in zero zero so here i is pointing to zero and here j is pointing to this column zero next the inner for loop will get executed first by incrementing the value of j by one now j value is one one is less than c is what two one is one is less than two yes condition is true i is zero only so now j is incremented by one i is zero j is one now we are going to input the next number what is the value of i zero so it is the first row next j is one so here i am going to enter two again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of i by one just because of this j plus plus now j value is what two two is less than two no condition fails then the control comes out of this looping structure and the control transfers to uh, the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by one just because of this i plus plus now i value is one j value is zero now you can see again we are going to receive the number next number so what is the value of i now i is one so now i is pointing to the second row and j is zero so that is first column here i'm going to insert three for example again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by one okay now one is less than two yes condition is true so j was sorry i was one and j is now one so both of these two are one next here you can see scanf we are going to receive the element next element a of one one so a of one that is i value is one and j value is pointing to the next column that is one so one one here i'm going to enter four for example okay next after inserting so it is going to print transpose of a matrix is here i'm going to write transpose of a matrix is just because of this backward slash in cursor come down to the next line and now important point to be noted here is you can see here we have written for i is equal to 0 i is less than c earlier it was i is equal to 0 i is less than r because we were inserting elements row wise now i have to insert the elements column wise okay fine so next here you can see for i is equal to 0 i is less than c i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j is less than r and j plus plus okay next so we are going to print percentage d a of j i not i j correct so j i so first we have to increment the value of j for the first time i value is 0 j value is also 0 correct next here we are going to print the value stored in a of j i correct so j value is 0 i value is also 0 that consisting of what 1 so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to draw one more rectangular box and in which i'm going to again divide it into four squares so index number zero one then zero one now j is pointing to what j is pointing to row correct so next here i is pointing to column yes next you can see here i is pointing to column j is pointing to row yes next i value is zero j value is zero i value is 0 j value is 0 that consisting of what value 1 right so after printing the value of 0 0 again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 just because of this j plus plus now j value is 1 1 is less than 2 
because r value is what 2 so hence it is true once it is true then again this particular statement will executed i value is 0 j value is 1 so i value is 0 i value is 0 and j value is what 1 that consisting of what 2 correct so it has to be stored in a of j 1 so j value is pointing to 1 now j is pointing to 1 i value is remain 0 in this case so here it is 2 will be stored right so again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is 2 2 is less than 2 because r is 2 correct so no condition fails once the condition fails this particular statement will not get executed so it is going to execute printf backward slash n so cursor come down to the next line so again control transfers to the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 just because of this i plus plus here i value is now 1 correct so now i is pointing to 1 next j is 0 again okay j is pointing to 0 i is 1 next printf a of j i what is the value of j 0 i value is 1 0 1 correct so what is the value of j i here so j is 1 so j is 1 and i is 0 that consisting of so here you can see uh, j is 0 and i is 1 that consisting of 3 so here we are going to write 3 correct next again the control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 1 i was 1 and j is also 1 so it is pointing to the second row here okay next a of j i so value of 1 1 you can see here the value of 1 1 1 1 consisting of what 1 1 consisting of 4 so here value of j i j i is 1 1 so here it will be 4 you can see here the first row 1 2 has converted into the first column and the second row has converted into the second column so let us run this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that means there is no syntax error i'll press enter let us run this program by pressing control f9 here you can see it is asking the user to enter the order of matrix for example i'm going to enter 2 and 2 so first 2 is row and the second 2 is number of columns then i'm going to press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter the elements for example i'm going to enter elements 1 2 then 3 4 and i'll press enter here you can see it is displaying transpose of a matrix 1 3 2 4 you can clearly see here the first row consisting of 1 2 and the second row is 3 4 after transposing you can see the first row consisting of 1 3 and the second row consisting of 2 4 here the first row has converted into column in the transpose of a matrix similarly the second row has converted into second column in a transpose of a matrix i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you